Welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over the process of resetting your password on a Raspberry Pi. And this is if you've forgotten the password. So I'll put a link in the description of my website where I'll have some of the commands that I'm typing out. And I'll also have a link to my Raspberry Pi playlist down there where you can find my other Raspberry Pi projects. So I have a Raspberry Pi OS system here set up and I'm at the login prompt. And we'll say I don't know my password. So I'll type in Pi and then I'll type in my password. And it's not going to work. So first thing you need to do is you want to shut this down and I don't know exactly how to shut this down without logging in but you can type control alt delete and it will restart. So I'll press that and then when it goes black I'll shut it off. Okay so now I'm moving over here to my Mac and you can do this on a Windows PC or a Linux computer also. So I've taken the SD card out of the Raspberry Pi and I'm going to insert it into the Mac in the SD card slot. You'll see this boot drive come up. On um, Windows, you'll go to File Explorer and then go to find this boot partition. So we're going to look for this line called Command Line TXT or CMD Line TXT. And you can edit this file, but I'm just going to right click on this and I'll say Duplicate. And I'll rename this one to Underscore or Ridge. So now we have a backup of this file. And then I'll open up CMD Line.txt. Okay, so I've made it bigger. I also turned off spell checking. You don't have to do that. It's just easier to read that way. So we'll go to the end of root weight here. I'll press space and I'll type init and I'll type equals forward slash bin forward slash sh. And then I'll save this file and I'll close it. And then I will right click on this drive and I'll eject it. I'll pull out the micro SD card and I'll plug it back into the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so this booted, but it seems kind of hung, but if we hit the enter key, we'll have a prompt here. Now at the prompt, we'll mount the system, so I'll type mount, space, dash O, space, remount, comma, RW. So we're going to remount, and we want it read, write, then space, and then forward slash dev, forward slash, MMC, BLK, zero, P2, space, forward slash. I'll hit enter. It says it was remounted, and I had a little boot something or other show up here. It says random CRNG init done. That messed up how this looked, but you want to type it in, and I'll have it on my website. Just type it in how it looks on there. So now we want to type in PASSWD space and then PI for PI. I'll hit enter, and now I'll type my password, what I want it to be. I'll type it again. Okay, so it's updated successfully. Now I'll type sync. I'll hit enter. So next I'm going to turn off the Raspberry Pi, I'll remove the card and plug it back into the Mac. Okay, so I'm back on my Mac now. I'll open up this boot partition again. If you made a backup of the command line file like I did, you can just swap the names. Otherwise you can open it up and remove the init that we added before. So I'll go here and I'll just rename the init one to command line underscore sh. And I'll take the other and I'll remove a ridge, okay? And I can remove this command line underscore sh when I'm all done. So I will eject this now. Okay, we're at the login prompt, so I'll type in pi, and then I'll type in the password that I changed it to, and it allowed us to log in. So I didn't mention earlier when I typed in sync, what that's doing is that's saving everything in the memory to the hard drive, or the micro SD card in this case. So I did that before I unplugged it because we can't do a proper shutdown. So that's how you change the password on Raspberry Pi if you've forgotten it. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.